Hi there, I'm Valerie Milano, the senior editor of the Hollywood Times, and I'm thrilled to have here today a beautiful film that we're going to be talking about, and I'm going to let our um, our guest introduce himself and his role in this project. Hey everybody, my name is Ramin Sohrab. I'm the director, uh, main cast, writer, producer. Basically, there's a lot of titles, but Let's stick with the director for now. <laughs> yes, love it. And is this your first time working on an action drama film? Uh, feature film, yes. This is actually my first feature film that I shot in Finland and Iran. And before this, I mainly was involved in doing short films and a lot of other projects that I wasn't producing or directing, but I was involved as action director or stunt coordinator, or just doing stunts and acting in different projects. But for, in terms of like first future film, yes, this would be my first one. And hopefully we not the last one. <laughs> hopefully not the last one. I agree because yeah. you're excellent. Um, the name of the yeah. film is Layers of Lies, and it's yes. the first Finnish uh, Iranian action film of its kind. Um, why is this? Uh, why is it that there haven't been others? Um, and what motivated you and your team to create this project? Uh, there has been a lot of others who have tried before, but because it's a new genre in in the region, it's very hard for government to trust just just hand it over to anybody to make the action film. So, and they've done few projects, but they didn't go very well. And uh, the budgets were high and they couldn't expect all the, all the difficulty that comes with uh, producing a genre film. So the reason why I wanted to specifically go there and shoot this is because for, 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 like I was born in Iran, but raised in Finland. And I thought there is something new if I could do a co-production between these two countries and kind of uh, get their cultural aspects of uh, Iran and Finland and how they could mix together. And because we hadn't had it before, it actually helped me to convince the government to let us do this co-production to help more filmmakers inside and outside of Iran to to encourage them to do more uh, co-productions with different countries and uh, and also make some genre as well because Iran is very known for their strong drama films and I, I call them festival films. They usually go and win a lot of the awards here and there. But for average guy and a girl, just go to the cinema, see some action, come out, don't think about it much more. That was something I wanted to do. And of course, because I was born there and my uh, dad actually trained me in martial art from such a young age in Iran. So all that nostalgic feeling and of me actually going and doing something that nobody had done before, it just excited me. But yeah, it, that was 10 years ago when I decided to do that. So then <laughs> it took me 10 years to realize it wasn't that easy. But finally we did it. and. Yeah, the first Finnish Iranian action film. <laughs> okay, we're well, glad you did. Um, so let's talk about. Can you speak on the premise of the film and and why you think viewers would want to watch it? I would say that the the basic storyline. If you think about like films like Taken, which has a very simple plot. But because it's something new and it wasn't abroad somewhere, like location-wise, it was something nice and the character-wise, it works very well. So in Iran, we tried to do the similar thing. When we shot in Finland, we tried to show the best side of Finland and same thing when we did it in Iran. And some of the locations that are used in the film has never been seen before. So I think that brings type of excitement to watch something that uh, have never has never been seen before. And just to paint a different picture from Iraq, like the, the idea was to show the different side of it. And of course, when you bring a Western woman to Iran for the very first time, and then she gets kidnapped, it's, it's almost like, oh my God, what's gonna happen next? So we really tried to emphasize on this 
Western culture, bring it to the Middle Eastern culture, mix it up, and then you have the love story of trying to figure out how to save save the wife. So so the excitement you, uh, mostly comes from the new location, new experience that we haven't, the audience haven't seen before, and then throw in some action in, and then that's just a entertaining 90 minute of film. Good, yeah. So how were the actors chosen? Uh, mainly we did, the, we did the casting, then we did auditions. Uh, we trained with them a lot because uh, a lot of the actors, and especially stunt men, because in Iran, they didn't have stunt men. So I had to train with them separately for a few months just to teach them not to hit me for real, because a lot of the time they hit me for real. And we tried to like, just teach them the basics, maneuvers of how to sell the idea of the punch, how to sell the idea of the kick. But yeah, I after many, many hits and kicks, they finally got it and, and we got the shots we needed. But yeah, we did a casting audition. And uh, for me, it was very important that the drama side of the action film works as well as the actual action parts. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. You had to make sure that they didn't hit you for real. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, just like they hit me so many times. And, and their excuse was that it's going to look more real. And I'm like, let me take care of that. And you just <laughs> swing it by. You don't need to hit me. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. boy. laughs> so you talked earlier about the festival circuits. I know the film did well in the circuits. Um, so... When can our readers expect to see it, more of this film? So basically, yes, uh, the festival circuit was amazing. I never thought we we're going to win over 50 awards worldwide. Uh, all these action film festivals, they were like, they, they already saw the value in the film, which I really wanted them to, to see the potential of like the very first Iranian action film. So So that was a big check for us. Like we checked that box and now uh, I think it was last week on 23rd. Yeah, the film was released in all these major platforms. Like the film can be seen now on Apple TV. And uh, I hope in a few months we get it in some of the VOD platforms so people can just click it and watch it home. But at the moment, you can see it in Apple TV, Amazon, YouTube, Google Play. So there's a bunch of places you could see it. Just write layers of lies and it takes you straight to Tehran and straight to action. Lovely. So it's got layers of lies. And so how can we stay, our viewers and our readers, stay up to date with you, with your any other, other projects, websites, social media? Yeah, so it's like easy. Just the name of the movie, Layers of Lies, or my name, Ramin Sohrab. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, wherever wherever I can be, I am there. And, and you can find my newest project that I'm working and developing. So there's nice things coming up. So this was the first one. And now that it's out, I have new kind of a um, passion to take it to the next next level. Good. Are you still are you still practicing your, your martial art? Are you still working hard? Yes, absolutely. At least three times a week. Just to keep it up there. <laughs> For you. Well, we are the Hollywood Times.net, the Hollywood Times dot today. Our our YouTube channel is uh the Hollywood Times official, and we're gonna be doing a review of this film. I've already seen it. I'm one of the lucky ones and yes. uh going to be putting part of this review on there and again i thank you so much for your time today and hopefully we thank can you. meet in person at one of the festivals or in hollywood or something absolutely I'm, I'm sure we'll get to meet somewhere along and thank you so much for right. for having a chat and watching my film beautiful thanks so much have a great rest of your day Raheem. All absolutely right. you too bye bye